The last couple of weeks has been crazy for fighting game fans. With so much happening, it's hard to keep track of everything, so I decided to create this guide to help you get up to speed. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. This is the Kimmy Player Channel's Fighting Game News Roundup. Hitting the online stars in December 13, version 2012 is going to be a free download that brings a series of balance changes to the current version of Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition. It's a little too much to go into details, so here's a rundown of what to expect. These are the teens now, and these are the twins in version 2012. Not much information about the fifth entry in the Soul Calibur series yet, but we do know there's a few new characters coming, and one of them is no other than Rose from Street Fighter. What's that? Viola? I don't care what you say, you look at those pictures and you tell me this is not Rose. And while we're on the crossover subject, Ezio Auditore from Assassin's Creed would also be joining the Soul Calibur cast. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of either one of those series, but I think that's pretty cool. Ezio fits this universe perfectly. Not that this matters too much. Previous games had Heihachi Mishima, Link, Spawn, Yoda, The Apprentice, and even Darth Vader. Talking man hurt Hulk. Hulk rip off talking man's head! My head? What's probably out already by the time you watch this video is a brand new version of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You know, that game had just released a few months ago. Yes, it got an upgrade. Yes, it's a new title. No, I'm not joking. 12 new characters joined the roster, including fame favorites Strider and Ghost Rider. There's also Nemesis, Nova, Virgil, Hawkeye, Firebrand, Doctor Strange, Frank West, Iron Fist, Phoenix Wright and Rocket Raccoon. Yes, there is a lawyer and a freaking space raccoon with firearms, but no Mega Man. Well, at least up until now. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 will feature a massively improved network mode, but let's be honest, it wouldn't take much to say that, would it? A new Dead or Alive game was announced and will be released sometime next year. Expect the return of some familiar faces like Ginfu, Elliot, Bass. You have no idea who those people are, do you? You're probably starting to wonder if you know this series at all. Let's see if I can help you remember. Yes, that one. I got one! This game is not exactly new since it has been out for a while now, but just to cover all bases, let's talk briefly about Mortal Kombat. The most recent title released earlier this year marks a return to formula. All of the fan favorites and most memorable characters return, plus, you know, Shiva and Baraka. Those are kinda like obstacles in the select screen. With a mature rating, expect to see a lot of blood, broken bones, rib skin, dismembered bodies, and let's be honest, some pretty shameless bouncing boobs. Also, every single girl wears high heels to fight, and that includes the Special Forces agent Sonya Blade. They live among us, living normal lives, until called upon into another dimension. Going back to some good old 2D fighting, the King of Fighters 13 arrives soon in consoles, bringing some exclusive characters like Billy Kane and the only version of Yori Agami pretty much everybody is going to choose, the classic one. Besides that, the game is pretty much the arcade title in all its glory, including Hoff and Clark's juggernaut-like body. This is payback! It's that girl! The final game I want to talk about is Street Fighter Cross Tekken, currently under development and available sometime next year. In this title, 
characters from both franchises duck it out in a tag team battle, having at their disposal a ludicrous amount of techniques. If you're one of the many players who barely use folks' attacks in Street Fighter 4, prepare to be overwhelmed by a very complicated fighting engine. As opposed to other crossovers, here you lose the fight if either one of your characters is defeated, so swapping between them is encouraged. You can do that in a variety of ways, so instead of going for a raw tag, you're probably going to be switching characters mid-combos or during special moves. You'll be able to do that with a friend too, and can either tag him in or just go for the ultimate brawl and have four players at the screen fighting at the same time. Though the tag battles seem awesome, the four player mode is sure to be completely crazy. But hey, at least nobody's going to be invisible here. That's not to say there won't be a gimmick though. Core to the Street Fighter cross tagging engine is the gem system, where you equip your character with different sets of gems to give them special attributes. The gem system is not going to be optional, so you better be prepared to be on top of your game and equip it with the latest and most powerful rocks available, which I'm pretty sure is going to be completely free. While you're at it, do make sure you have Ryu wearing the proper armor and sword so you have a higher critical rate during fights. Ko from Infamous will make it in as a special guest character in the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Vita systems. Joining him, we have Toro and Kuro, the PlayStation mascots. Once again, 360 owners get nothing, but I don't really think you guys will be missing the cats, will you? So there you go, now you're a little more informed and entertained, so get out there and kick some asses! P.S. Oh, and they banned Meta Knight from Smash Bros recently. Does that count as a fighting game?